What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So apparently you guys didn't really like videos of me vlogging my life, which is fine. Um, so we're just going to go back to kind of talking about what I know. The only thing I really know what else how to talk about, um, and that's medicine. So today's advice is a little bit of an advice video for the medical students, um, and sort of the fourth years in particular, and how to really survive, I guess, and how to look, do the best job on your interview day. But um, I, I'm sure there's a million videos out there of, you know, how to nail like a job interview and how to nail a residency interview, but I'm talking more like when you go out to dinner with the current residents or when you um, or sit down to lunch with the current residents, you got like an hour and you're like just trying to stand out. Because um, I've been on a couple of these things and there's a lot of things that bother me about people. There's a lot of things that draw me to people. So here's the basic breakdown, three to four different things that I think you can do to optimize your chance of really vibing and really increasing your um, review from the residents that you're interviewing with. Because believe it or not, in a lot of these programs, like we get a lot of say in who gets in and who doesn't get in. And um, we'll talk about sort of an audition, like what to do on your audition rotation later. Um, but today, just like how to be casual, right? Okay, so one, you, you've already got the interview, right? So somehow your board scores, somehow your grades, somehow your transcripts and letter of recommendation all look great. Good for you. Nobody cares. Okay. You've already got the interview. You've already been accepted. You're here to now really essentially to prove that you're a person. Um, I don't care that you have the 90th percentile of your board scores. I don't care that you got straight A's in medical school. I don't really care that you went to Johns Hopkins for your undergraduate and then Harvard for medical school. I don't care about any of that. If you're rude and you're difficult to work with, none of the other stuff matters. So the first thing that I like to tell people is just like to be a person. And really, when you're interviewing, like, be yourself. Be really just who you're going to be and see if you, and see if you click. Because at the end of the day, these are your coworkers. These are the people you're going to put up with every day for the next three or four years or five, depending on your program. And you want to make sure that it's going to be fun because I've seen it. I've seen it go one way great and I've seen it go other ways not so great. Um, and with current residents in my program that aren't vibing to people who are in residency that do really well with each other because somehow everyone just clicks. So I've seen every aspect of medical student that there are. And so the ones that I can tell you that do the best are the ones that really just kind of have a sense of who they are. They're not trying to prove themselves anymore. They're really just trying to show you that they're cool people. And a lot of the times when you go on these residency interviews, you're going to have, um, you're going to have interview day and then to separate, whether it's the night before the night of, you're going to have like a dinner or like a cocktail hour or like a reception, um, with all the other applicants and with all the other residents. And that is really your time to be like, Hey man, I'm cool. I'm easy going. I'm easy to work with. Cause at the end of the day, that's what we're looking for. We don't want the smart one who's difficult. We don't want someone with a terrible attitude. Um, we really just want to make sure that everybody is a person. So like come up with a story that's cool about your life and don't come up with a school, a story about your life that you've written in your personal statement. Don't give me a sob story. Don't let, tell me about like your wife and kids. I don't, you know, you'd really be like, so I like to go camping on the weekends. So I have a GoPro. <laughs> so I like to do, to go to concerts. This is my favorite type of music. I'm really into horror movies. You know, come up with something that's cool and something that you can like talk about. Yeah, I've been hiking. Yeah, I've been all over the country and I go hiking, you know, every couple of months with, with a group. I don't know. So I don't pick something, pick something cool and pick something different and make it relatable. It doesn't have to be, well, I do all this research and you know, well, I shadowed in this, like, okay, we get it. You've done that. You're here. You win. Like, congratulations. I don't want to hear any more about your resume. I want to hear about you as a person. Interact with the residents, interact with the other applicants. Don't be the one that's trying to talk over everybody else. Don't be the one that's trying to throw everyone else under the bus. Don't try to be the one who's trying to put their CV above everybody else's when you're out there, when you're interviewing and when you're interacting. Those, we see all that, we really do, and we don't like it because that's indicative of the type of person you are, and I don't wanna work with that. 95% of doctors don't wanna work with that, and so don't do that. Put an effort into not only trying to talk to the residents, but put an effort into trying to the other applicants because y'all may be in the same class next year, and if you were rude to each other in the interview, it's gonna make for an awkward couple of years. Um, that's the other thing. Do not be afraid if you want to to have a drink at dinner. Um, half the time we're so goddamn stressed at the end of the day that we're gonna have one. We're gonna have one or two and we're gonna have fun because we get to go on these free dinners multiple nights a week and get to meet everybody who wants to be in the program. It's okay for you to have a drink too. It really is. 
Should you get drunk? Absolutely not. Should you be doing shots with the other residents and the applicants? Absolutely not. Don't be afraid to have one drink because it shows that you're an adult. It shows that you're responsible. It shows you can, if you want to be a foodie, you can pair your wine or your beer with your dinner and make it like a thing. I don't know, whatever. But don't be afraid because I see these people who go in there and go, oh, no water, please. That's fine. Thank you very much. And you're like, you're boring. I know you're going to cave. And like you can tell. You can tell the students who are going to cave. And like t in 10 minutes from now, once they see all the residents drinking, they're going to have one. That's fine. That's fine too. Sorry you're a little uncomfortable, but it's it's not, it's nothing you should be worried about. And at the end of the day, also like feel free to order some food, man. If you're hungry for something, you see something, get it because the residency's paying for it. We're going to order up a storm because we're hungry and it's free for us. You guys are probably even poorer than we are. So like have at it, man. If you want like two dinners, have two dinners. If you want dessert, don't be afraid to do that. 95% of the time alcohol is going to be on you. So if you do decide to drink, that's on you. But again, it's okay to have one or two. It's okay to socialize and prove that, you can, that you're a high-functioning adult. That's nothing to be worried about. So I guess that's a couple of things in summary. From these dinners that I've gone on, the people that I love are the people who have a unique story, people who sit down and can have a beer at dinner and socialize, who don't try to story top one another and can really work a crowd because that's the kind of person you want to work with every day because they sound like they're really good people. People I don't like are the people that try to push their resume in, at dinner. Like you've already had a chance to do that. That bothers me. Yeah, people who try to one-up everybody else. Nobody really cares that, you know, applicant A has, you know, done this, but you've done it, done it three times over. Like, those people irritate everybody, so nobody wants to be that. And, like, don't sit in the corner and don't say anything. Don't wait to be talked to. Really, to try to start a conversation, but start a conversation that doesn't relate to medicine, because we do it from 9 to 5, and we're tired of talking about it. Um, those are the little couple of tips for right now. Um... Things that I've seen and witnessed, you know, I, I know we're about, what are we, like end of October right now. So I think we're kind of in the middle of the interview season. You may have some under your belt. You may have some coming up. You may have some of your important ones coming up, depending on what you're interviewing for. Um, so just kind of keep that stuff in mind. If you're hanging out with the residents, man, just be a person. At the end of the day, like you've already impressed the program enough that we're willing to consider you. Show us that you're, that you're easy to work with. That's about it. That's the bottom line. And that's all I got for you today. Um, next time we'll probably talk about how to impress somebody on an audition rotation. And that can get tricky. So stay tuned. And if there's anything else you guys want to talk about as I near the end of residency, I'm still lagging on the job search end of it. I'm not, I'm not looking at all. I need to be. I need to start. Um, I signed up for Practice Link, which is a really good physician job site. And I've been getting bombarded from people all over the country with opportunities for hospital medicine. But two of them stuck out to me because they were in Las Vegas specifically, which is where I'm looking to live. And um, we'll go from there. All right, guys. Have a good night.